Hi, in this video, we will talk about how to run GraphQL requests in API tester. So what do you mean by GraphQL? So GraphQL is a query language and a server side runtime for APIs that prioritizes giving clients exactly the data they request and no more. So with the help of GraphQL, what information exactly you need, you will get that information. Okay, in the normal REST APIs, so you will get much information than you required, but here exactly whatever you need, you can get that information, okay? So with the help of one example, we will see how you can execute this GraphQL queries in API tester mobile application. So let's go to the mobile app. So this is my mobile app. So I want to execute GraphQL request. So where I can do that, okay? So you need to click on this plus symbol. So in this screen, you can see one of the options called GraphQL. Okay, click on this. So here GraphQL, untitled request. So here you need to provide the URL. So this is the URL I'm going to use, GitHub API. So api.github.com slash GraphQL. So let me put here. So this is the one, I'll rename this a meaningful name. So GraphQL request. Okay. So this is GraphQL request. So here you can see multiple sections, body, variables, settings. In the settings, you will have headers, authentication, cookies, all this information. So on the doc section, okay? So first we need to provide the body, right? So in the body, I will write this much code. So let me type this. So here, user login colon, you need to provide the username. So I'll provide Krishna Sakinala and then inside this, you need to provide what information you want to get. Okay, so I want to get name. Okay, I want to get the name of this repository, the username. Okay, so this is my GraphQL, this is my body. So when you execute this now, You see that this endpoint requires you to be authenticated. So you need to provide the authentication information. Okay, go to the request. And we have seen that in the settings, you have OAuth. Here access token you need to provide. This is the accent access token. So I will provide that token here. So this is the token. So now, if you execute this now, so it's saying bad credentials. So it did not copy the access token properly. So corrected it. So if you execute this now, you see that you will get the name of that GitHub profile name like Krishna Sakinala. Okay, so now I want to get remaining information, other information. Okay, how much information I want, I can get only that much information. Go to the request. Now I want to go to the body section. Now I want only name and ID. Okay, now if you just execute this. Problem passing. 
name. So let me execute again. So while typing something problem, Well, let me rewrite this one. Uh, this is the mobile. So we need to bit cautious while writing login. So let me execute this now. Parts error. Let me look into this. So here I missed the bracket. So just name ID, click on this. You see that name and you're getting the ID. So along with that, if you want to get a URL and bio, something like that, you just mention that information also. URL and bio. So what information you want, you can provide here. Only it will fetch only that much information. We do not have any bio, so empty and URL is this one. Okay, this is how you can get the data, whatever you want with the help of GraphQL. So here I want to use variables. So parameterized kind of things. So I want to pass this name from the variables. Okay, so for that, so you need to mention here in the variable section, username colon Krishna Sakinala. So there's the username body. In the body, if you want to use that, you need to provide query and then dollar username colon string exclamatory. Okay. And then you need instead of this hard coding value, you can provide that variable name dollar username dollar username, right? So I'm not hard coding the values I'm placing here and I'm using that variable here. Just run now, you'll get the same information. Okay, so in the GraphQL, if you want to create a GraphQL, you need to click on this play symbol and you need to select this option. And then in the body section, you need to write the query in the variables, you can specify the variables in the settings. If you have any authentication, you need to provide that authentication here and then execute. So if you go to the docs, you can see the queries and mutations, all these things in this section. Okay, so this is how you can execute or no request a GraphQL request. Okay, so this is all about GraphQL in API tester mobile application. So that's all in this video. Thank you.